past month since I won my medal. Um, I had one more competition to go to, uh, which went which went all right. It was hard to uh, mentally prep for that one. It was uh, pretty pretty draining after the Olympics. I got to um, really indulge in the experience and everything that comes along with the medal. And then um, I got to get away for a little bit before I came back back here to Melbourne. And um, yeah, it's just been really cool. I mean, I, I got I got a moment too to come back to Australia and share my medal with my family and my friends and obviously Australia that were there watching and supporting me. So that was uh, very special. Probably the coolest thing that's happened was I got uh, a football stadium, the Central Coast Football Stadium, named after me uh, for a weekend. So that was pretty cool to go to the to go watch the Central Coast Mariners play and um, yeah, to have the stadium renamed after me was pretty awesome. The standout moment for me since winning the medal has just been seeing my family and friends and being able to share that with them. It's it's not just me that puts in work. It's there's a lot of stuff that goes on for a long time, and to you know be able to have something that symbolises all that hard work into something and be able to share that with my family has been incredible. So I'm really thankful for that. I uh, had a school visit, went back to the, my old school. I uh, got to see all the kids and I got to see some footage when I was in uh, Pyeongchang. Uh, that was really cool, you know, they, they stopped their swimming carnival, I believe, to watch my event, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Where am I going to store my medal? I'll probably put it in the case and just put it in the, uh, in the pool room back home. I'll give it to my dad and mum and they can do something with it. <laughs> it's in a sock. So it probably shouldn't live there forever. Uh, I'll probably put it in a house that I will hopefully own one day 